What is up, planet? It is the priest, and I'm back with another pick a card reading. Now, in today's reading, I'm going to be looking and focusing on angel messages and messages from your guides. So, before you skip to your deck or scroll down to find your timestamp, I want to share this message with you. This reading is going to be very profound. And it's probably gonna take a while also because I really want to take the time to share this beautiful message with you. In this reading, it seems like what the universe is saying is that it is going to be a reading that unlocks your soul. So after you watch this reading, you're probably gonna start noticing more things in your life or have more of a heightened sense of awareness, which is totally normal. So I just want you to know that this is going to be a beautiful, beautiful, profound message that is absolutely what you need to hear in the moment. And I couldn't title it because no title serves the justice for the message that's going to be released today. It is very, very profound. So I'm really excited. It's good things. Okay. Always good things from a place of love and light. If you guys are new to the channel, shout out to all of my new subscribers. Welcome to the planet where we embrace love happiness, freedom, and truth, which is what you guys are starting to notice more of is that a lot of my teachings are based off of truth. And I use these cards to help me and give me the clues to the message that you need to hear. So if you're new to tarot, welcome. Also, since I, I don't know how to announce this, but basically I feel like we should have a name. I strongly believe that if you're on my channel, whether you just subscribed or you've been subscribed to my channel, I solely am a firm believer that I am part of your soul tribe. So now what I've decided to do is give everyone who follows this channel a tribe name, and that is the Tarot Tribe. So if you guys have been following my channel and have been a part of the planet for this time, I want you to hashtag down below hashtag the tarot tribe if you guys have been a part of my soul family from the journey or maybe you guys are just now joining the channel all right so enough of that so pretty much everything that you guys may be seeking my merchandise if you guys check down below my merchandise reel i pretty much upgraded my merch into some really cool inspiring quotes so definitely check that out and the soul journey webinar per usual every month if you guys missed the last one you can stream it on my website the tarotpriest.com pretty much everything is there so if you're looking to book a reading or interested in my online tarot course that is still in the making but is finalizing it, it will be worth it you can also find that in the description box below all right so let's talk about these decks i kind of already have been feeling out the energy and i know kind of which direction it's gonna go but i'm really excited to see what the overall message is to unlocking your soul so here are the four different decks you can choose from i'm gonna leave it here for some time so you guys don't have to pause it i have deck number one the red deck deck number two the brown deck deck number three this is probably just gonna be deck number three, the gray deck, and deck number four, the blue deck. So I know that this might be a little bit more challenging, um, so go ahead and take your time and choose the deck that you feel like is going to best resonate with you. Again, it will just be that deck that you can't stop thinking about um, that's pulling towards you. So this is a perfect example of following your intuition. All right, let's hop into today's reading and see what is in store for what the universe and your angels and guides have to tell you. All right, if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading and what your angel guides have in store for you or what your guides want you to know. But again, this is going to be a message that unlocks your soul. Okay. Okay. Let's start with you, 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 you. This is going to probably feel like a one-on-one -on -one reading because it seems very personal. So what the universe wants you to know in this time is that there has been external guidance around you to be more aware of the signs and the messages that they're not a coincidence is what they're saying 
Now also is a very important time for you to question your beliefs. They're saying that your beliefs should bring more clarity, more peace. So a quote that I had talked about on my Instagram was, if your beliefs are not bringing you peace in a time of need, it is time to also question them. It seems as if there needs to be a much more firmer certainty in the things that you believe is what they're saying. So you have angels. We even have an angel on this card, and this isn't an angel deck. This isn't an angel tarot deck, I should say. And you're becoming much more balanced also with, the, with your emotions and the way that you react to things. You're maturing. It feels like a very big maturity. But also what they're saying is it also might be feeling lonely or feeling as if you are by yourself on this journey. And so with the aloneness card in the hermit, also you could be a Virgo, you don't have to be, but there that's what's here as well. If you find yourself in a space they want you to know that you're not alone. It's very important that you know this, that you have angels and guides. It's like a spiritual army behind you, backing you. So much support for a message that you're holding. Again, they're saying that it could be something that you've experienced in your past that you desire to share with others. And some of you may be not so much wanting to share those things. They're saying that your experience, your journey, is an important part to assisting you on your pathway. It's very important because I feel uh, strong spiritual vibes and it may seem lonely or that you don't feel like you can connect with people on the level that you're, you're seeking with more depth. It's like you're, you are really, really desiring more depth in your life. And so what they're saying is, this is going to be a period of time where you will be on a solo journey, but the solo journey is to find the truth for you, what your truth is so that you have certainty when you're sharing this message. Okay. Also being patient with yourself. We have some pentacle energy here. So this is some practical things, uh, balancing also the spiritual and practical. They're also saying that as well while you are spiritual and you have uh, spirituality and beliefs, it is also important to have practical beliefs in balance because we're spiritual, but still here in the human body, which means we still have to live here, being patient with yourself in the process. Your body is also going to be experiencing some changes. Um, it's totally normal. You're shifting there. Look at this awareness. I'm just now seeing this. So again, it is about a spiritual walk. These are two major arcana cards here. This is spiritual, a spiritual walk. Okay. All right. So let's see what's going on here. Five of pentacles. Queen of swords. Ace of wands. And the sun in reverse. So deck number one. The universe wants you to know God, whatever you choose to believe divine wants you to know that it is now time for you. Your body's going through some changes. You're going through a major spiritual awakening. And even if it hasn't manifested in the 3D just yet, there are a lot of changes unfolding that are for the better. It's all, you have a higher purpose. This is pretty heavy. This is a deck that I would actually resonate with. So it seems like right now what it's about for you, they want you to make life simpler by following what makes you happy. You're going to have something come in very soon that is just like an ins inspiration to you. It is just a spark of more energy. And remember what fuels you deck number one is much deeper than just material and practical things in which you will have. They're saying that you're going to have those things, but this is heavier. You could be a spiritual advisor. You could be discovering more spirituality right now. That's so crazy. 
Let me see what other, who you're becoming. Yeah, it's very interesting here. It's like we have some of you who are, you could even be a tarot YouTube reader. Some of you are tarot readers, spiritual guidance leaders, counselors, mentors, or you either grew up in the church, you could have a spiritual background that is heavily embedded in your family. But what they're saying is like, for those of you who are in that space of already owning up to this call, calling and understanding that this is what you're here to do, this is the work that you want to do, you want to serve, you want to spread a message, uh, you have a purpose that's much greater than you, this is something that is deeply, deeply embedded in just who you are. If you feel like you want to quit, but you just can't ever quit because you just don't have it in you to, to quit, this is a very, very deeper spiritual connection. And those of you who are saying that you haven't got there yet, if you are the beginner, because we have the activator and the people who are already here, and you guys are still one because where they are, you have been, and where you are, they are going. So some of you who are just now starting this spiritual journey and being intrigued and wanting to know more and, and to discover more things about what is true, about yourself and about your reality. Wanting to know more, just being intrigued by that tells me that you are becoming this. This is, again, the people who are stepping up in leadership, uh, mentoring, helping others, or who have been around or grew up in religion. They're saying also that you have a gift. See, your guides and your angels have been trying to communicate with you Oh, but there is now a sense of need for isolation so that you can gain some clarity and awareness and have guidance. So this guidance that you're looking for, some of you don't even have it because you are the guidance to others. And that's why it's very important for there to be room for isolation. But I feel like your energy is getting ready to shift in a much more uplifting and encouraging way. This is a boost of energy and inspiration. They're also saying, pay attention to what inspires you. There, those are secrets also. <laughs> those are the secrets to unlocking your soul. Pay attention to what is driving you. Pay attention to what is pulling you. They're saying that pull could be good or bad. Again, both of you guys, a group of you are in a different place, but you're becoming much more grounded in your faith. I've been doing this weird thing where like, they've been doing this weird thing where they're rhyming with these words. It's funner that way. Some of you have some healing to do also. There's like fear of lack in your life. It's not just financially. It is also just fearing having the lack of those that you love around you or feeling like you can't trust or relate to others. There is a lot of like outsider vibes here, a lot of not fitting in. And they're saying even in those moments where you walked in those classrooms, in your school and you felt like the outsider, you felt like you were outside looking in. Very powerful. But what they're saying is your childhood has a lot of special secrets and mysteries to even why you're here. And one of them is just knowing that you were on the outside of everyone was an indicator that you were something special, something different. And they're saying, do you remember that? And so we have the five of swords here where this is internal conflict, being hard on yourself, overthinking things, wanting to please others, not in a bad way, just caring to serve, but worried about where it's going to be reciprocated. And the universe says, don't worry about that. Your reciprocation is going to come from abundance in your life. So there's no need to even lack that. So we have the king and the uh, king and the queen. This is a counterpart. So some of you have twin flames heavily. This comes with this work again. 
The reason why I'm coming back to this card is the cloak of wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. This is a higher level. So you guys have been through a lot of things, all of these circumstances and events and challenges that you're, you went through and are still going through are giving you more confidence and trusting in what you know for the first time. That's what they're saying. Some routes didn't need to be taken. And so they want to spare time so you can appreciate and enjoy life and have fun and be happy and fulfilled. But if you keep choosing doors just because you're doubtful, the wrong door, if you're choosing the wrong door because you're doubtful, okay? When you have that instinct and that feeling and knowing, no matter how hard it is to accept, sometimes we know things we don't wanna know. And that leaves us with the responsibility to make a decision. And you know what I'm talking about. That's why I said this is a heavy spiritual deck because we're talking about some real things that are gonna unlock your soul. And what, what's the benefit of that tarot priest? Just, unfu just unfulfilling, just fulfillment doesn't even serve its purpose. You will be overly fulfilled. I, I don't even feel like fulfillment is good enough to explain the amount of euphoria and happiness that is waiting. But this time when you choose yourself and you choose your dreams and destiny, and that's not just in a relationship, that's in a company. Meaning that some of us have spent years on companies developing them, helping them, helping the companies reach their destiny. Even though they didn't care about your individual destiny. That is also a form of not choosing yourself. But now comes the time where you are activating an internal guidance so it's like you're repeating levels. They feel the same or they look the same, but they're not. They look the same, but they're not. You will know the difference. It will feel like you're repeating things with people, with situations, but this time it's different. And that's why 2020 is such a big year, even though it seems like it's canceled. No, <laughs> it's definitely not canceled yet. Queen of Cups. Focusing on, again, what brings you the most joy and compassion. When I show my work, others give appreciation. And again, remember the universe said earlier, your guides, your angels were saying, it's you doing things for others without having to ask and you're there. Or helping and advising and assisting and doing these things. It's a beautiful thing that you have a servant heart but you're waiting and sometimes it feels discouraging to continue to serve when you feel like it's not being reciprocated by people. But what they're saying is your reciprocation comes through your personal fulfillment. So it will not be up to them to determine once again, whether you can be happy or not. So they want you to know you have the power to create that reality. The fool card. I love it, man. This is going to, this is, I told you guys, this is going to be a long reading. So I hope you enjoy this. So the reciprocation comes from the universe. That's a different type of fulfillment. You're looking, you're going to, you're going to reap the rewards differently. So even though others may not support some of your visions or who you're becoming, what is most important that is that you're becoming yourself truthfully. Okay. I will heal myself again. That's, that's the five of swords twice. So this is about an internal healing. You know, it feels just a different type of hurt, a different type of pain. I also feel like for some of you, I just heard that because you are a mentor or your spiritual guider, or you're, you're becoming more in tune spiritually, right? Whether you're entering in the light activating or you've already been here, again, both of you guys are in the same place. They want you to understand that this healing is coming from a deeper place, more spiritual, more of a spiritual hurt of not feeling able to trust people or not feeling like you can rely or that you were also misunderstood. Okay, you're you have empathic abilities, 
again, this is a heavy deck. So empathic abilities just means that you absorb the energy of those around you. And not just that, what you're watching. If you're not aware of this power that you do have as an empath, you can absorb the wrong things. So what they're saying also is they're teaching you or they're in the process of teaching you how to use your gifts. Some of you will open your gift through your dreams. They also said that. Pay, a close, pay close attention to your dream. And also for those of you who are having issues with the dark or darkness in your life, again, it could be the dark literally, physically, or just the dark spiritually, like being negative could be dark, considered dark. Negative energy, that type of place. I also have my angels here. I sleep with the black crystal the just solid black crystal and that's all about absorbing negative energy and so with your abilities what they're saying is that they're teaching you some of you through dreams those of you who are afraid of the dark remember when you're having scary dreams that that the dark is not real but in the dream pay attention to how it felt real so what they're saying is this is also balanced in the with the dark and the light things of a low frequency and those of a high, okay? So your dreams are very are going to be very important to you. They want you to pay close attention to your dreams, receive the message, and if it feels scary or fearful or heavy, just know that, again, you're heavily protected by your guides and angels. They're saying it's, it's very important that you know that. Okay, death, let go and embrace new beginnings. So you guys are going through an ego death, as I mentioned earlier. Who you thought you were, you're even shedding that. <laughs> it's like right when we thought we know ourselves, our true selves, then something else we learn. And the more we learn about the universe, they're saying like the more you learn about the universe, the more you learn about yourself. We are one. We are connected. So there are secrets within the universe that you will find. You will find them. Cloak of wisdom. Some of you already know them, but you just overlook them or you don't, or you are not aware. You know, sometimes things become cliche, like stay woke, this has become a cliche, right? Well, it's so, it's become such a cliche that we have forgotten the heaviness of the message. And that's what happens when things become a trend. I'm losing my voice, so, and I'm only on deck one. <laughs> Stand your ground in your beliefs, in your beliefs, following what you know to be true to you. That is where you're standing your ground right now. Following that, you're going to start seeing your reality change into a much brighter place. Some of you, we have recognition and rewards. Some of you are going to be recognized for the work you're doing. Again, I said you could be a YouTuber. You could be wanting to start YouTube. Again, because some of you are here and some of you are coming. And also, those of you who are doing the spiritual work, don't think that others are not watching just because they don't respond. People are watching you in a good way. They're watching what you do with the freedom, with the knowingness that you have spiritually. So you will get recognized for that temptation. And then we have your last message, which is going to be the heaviest message. So temptation, watching those things that are pulling you out of your alignment pay close attention okay what is your my alignment tarot priest oh it's that thing that makes you happy it's that place that makes you happy whether it's alone whether it's reading a book whether it's running some of you it might be the shower wherever that place is where you just unwind that is your place of alignment but also where you are the most happiest without depending on the external that's where the temptation comes in is it's like experience things in this world but don't latch on to them because that's when it becomes a problem because then it has to be ripped away so it starts with the temptation but they're just saying that as well and then overall healing now is the time for you to give or receive healing everyone has a natural ability to heal others and yes even you so you're waking up again. Remember, I said your body is shifting. There's things going on right now with the body in a good way. Paying close attention, you know, 
I stopped drinking caffeine because that was my way of healing my, my mind from racing and being in an alert state all the time. <laughs> and, you know, paying attention to these things in your body specifically, you need your body to experience this world is what they're saying. So some of this healing is yours and some of it is not yours. It, unfortunately, it's the people around you that also need healing. Remember, you're a source, a spiritual source. And so if people are attracted to you, it is also because they feel like you have something that they can use. Sometimes those people don't know what it is. So they're latching, latching, but they don't know what they want from you. So, so temptation again. Oh yeah, we definitely need to talk about this. We definitely need to talk about this. Okay, healing, yes. So that's what they want you to focus on also is healing, healing, healing. And the last thing with the healing is your mind. Learning how to use it better um, rather than letting it use you or dictate what you should do or have to do. Your mind is nearly useless in the next level. Yeah, I learned that because it's all feel, it's all feel, feeling. Some of you have important decisions to make. We all do in our life. This benefit of the spiritual connection you have, you can use it for so many things in your life, including creating or just finding the things you're seeking, whether it's love or abundance or joy, okay? So your intuition is like a guide. Now it says, are you in denial about a healthy, unhealthy habit? Perhaps one that makes you feel guilty. This fairy says you have the power to overcome temptation, whatever it is. So that's exactly what I was just saying with being pulled out of alignment. Temptation could be just wanting to be angry because someone's angry at you with no reason. So that's a temptation. So anything that's tempting you out of your alignment, remember your alignment is where you feel good, you feel happy, you feel at peace, everything is flowing, you're just coasting, and then that person cuts you off, you're like, you know what, I'm in a good mood, and then you still keep going, and the next person cuts you off, and you're like, you know what, I'm in a double good mood, and it goes, and it goes, and it goes, but at some point, they're, we are human, there becomes irritable things, and so they're just saying now, in this time period, there may be irritable things or, or, or things around you that are pulling you out of your alignment. You have a very important job to allow your guidance and protection on your life journey, the fool, to lead not with your physical eyes or with your mind, but with, with your intuition. What you know, what you know to be true. That's why I said, if you chose deck number one, this is a heavy deck. All right, let's read what your last message is one the first ray of power so again that's the light activation what is important ones elevens ones and eleven see zero 2020 this was the preparation year this was definitely the preparation year now one 2021 is going to be a big year for you first ray of power number one so that's going to be very big all right 2021 twos ones zeros they all seem to be standing out to me all right something just i'm reading through the pages something said are you a light worker so some of you have that question like hmm, what is a light worker what is a light worker you're intrigued welcome so it says the first ray of power is energy of conscious destruction it can be used in a healthy way to eliminate the past and allow for a fresh start the first ray also carries a frequency of leadership. It can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. Man, it's exactly what I was saying. Some of you just have the light and people are just like, ooh, ooh. Hmm. So it can assist you to stand in the truth of your light so others can find their way by it. It helps you to strengthen your willpower so you can accomplish any chat task you choose. The Ascended Master brings you his particular blessing and encourages you to believe in your own strength and take the initiative on what matters most to you. That's what you're getting ready to find out. The message. If you are confused about which path to take or whether to continue a certain relationship, course of action, or a lifestyle choice, the first ray of power will clarify matters for you. 
when it moves through our lives, whatever is holding us back will be removed. Whew. Either through circumstances seemingly beyond our control or by our own actions based on a sudden inner knowing. When the first ray of power is indicted, a long-term plan that was once important to you may suddenly seem as though it needs to change or even be released altogether. Or you may suddenly get the motivation to go for something you have been dreaming of for a long time. Once this ray affects your life, your understanding of what is helpful and what is not can change overnight. The changes will feel very true, freeing, and helpful. Those people dreams and opportunities that remain in your life afterward, I can't. This is too much. I can't. I need to chill because this is exactly the truth. I get excited when I hear the truth and I didn't even know this card was going to come out, but man, like really? Okay. Remember, I told you that this deck resonates with me. So we're, we're, we're in this together. We're all in this together. All right. The changes you will feel are very true, free, and helpful. All right? This means that the universe is confirming that they are meant to be part of your journey at this time, which is what I said in my July reading, who is here now, they meet, it is their time. The first ray of power also relates to the matters of leadership and politics. Be open as to how your spiritual journey might be helpful in the world of politics, whether that is through aligning yourself with a cause that resonates deeply in your heart or through bringing a more open and discerning viewpoint into the often deceptive world of politics, which is just truth. Truth. Okay, next line, speaking your truth, <laughs> will be very helpful at this time, not only for you, but also for those around you who are willing to hear your voice and make their own choices from a clear place within. So making their own choices. Don't be afraid to be heard. If your life purpose involves either driving a meaningful political cause forward or assuming a position of leadership in some other way, you'll feel the truth of this. Be given encouragement from the Ascended Master to trust yourself as a leader with heart and awareness. I can't even finish it. I can't. I can't. All right. So the second ray is wisdom. And even that. Light activation. Like I said, some of you are entering. That's the one. That's the one. Okay. And then the second, Ray, you become teachers. So the second, some of you, like I said in the beginning, are teachers. And some of you are just simply entering, having a deeper cause or desiring a deeper cause. Step phase two for some of you who have already been here in the spiritual journey is to become the teacher. The student becomes the teacher. It's graduation time, okay? Um, all you have to do is accept it with free will because it is going to fulfill you. So that was a long message, but I hope that this helped you guys. Deck number one, you are so damn strong, so damn strong, and I get it. So continue to do the work, spreading the light and positivity, and continue to follow that awareness and intuition and you're following the path to fulfillment so if you guys chose deck number one don't forget to comment down below so i can get some words of encouragement to you per usual this is going to be a heavy reading and i already know the comments are going to be spreading so much unity so much peace and clarity so if you see something just say something say something encouraging say something uplifting to another person who left a comment if you have the time if not I will see you guys in my next video. Thank you for tuning in to this reading. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what your angel guides and the universe wants you to know to unlock your soul. That's the very most important part. And I'm already losing my voice because I already went in on deck number one and it's been so beautiful and I'm just so energized and excited to get this message to you guys. So. The message to unlocking your soul. Let's see what's going on. The waiting game. The nine of wands. Temperance. So you could be a Sagittarius. You don't have to be. The knight of wands. A lot of fire energy. But also 
Things are crazy right now. It feels that there's a lot of energy and the energy is all over the place. Some of this is part of the spiritual awakening that we've been talking about. And let me just tell you, deck number two, I am going to take my time with this reading. So it is going to be long. You might have to come back to watch part two of this deck. So I'm going to be taking my time and getting more in depth with what exactly this awakening looks like for you and giving more clarity to that. Seven of Wands. Some of you are feeling defeated, okay? Or are just coming out of this place of defeat. We will see. Page of Cups. Okay? All right. So what they're saying, deck number two, is what you are experiencing is a lot of karmic energy, okay? It's a lot of past life energy that you're dealing with in this life, okay? And I know that sounds crazy because some of you might be new to this journey, but basically what they're saying is you have a desire for abundance, for more, which is beautiful. Your material desires are going to be filled when you understand, and this is what they're saying, when you understand the fulfillment and then the fulfillment through materialistic things. So cars, houses, um, you know, land, wanting to travel or finances, that type of stuff of abundance of living the life that you're desiring. Cause I feel like you have very beautiful dreams centered around more fulfillment. In fact, they're saying that abundance has kind of reeled you into more wanting to know more about spirituality or yourself. So another thing that they're saying is there's nothing wrong with desiring to have material things. It is an expression of you. Those items, those, those objects in the world, in your reality that are before you, that are inspiring to you, have a part of you. It is resonating because it is part of you. It is something about that person or that thing that resonates so heavily with you that it inspires you. Pay attention to those things. Okay. Some of you are very concerned about your financial well-being. And a lot of you are entrepreneurs. A lot of you are very creative. You have a lot of creative talent and ability that you have yet to tap into. But right now you're closing out a cycle. This year is the closing of a cycle. So all of the things that are triggering you are things that you have yet to deal with from the past that are kind of spilling over into the present. Okay. So there's a lot of past shadow work is what they're saying. And you're at the very end of the cycle. Okay. A lot of this feels like heaviness, lots of, um, loss. Some of you may have been feeling lost or just really desiring more clarity. Like, okay, before I didn't think anything was going on, but now I'm really wondering what is going on. Like the world is changing so fast. People are passing very quickly. It is almost like a spiritual purge that is happening and you will make it. You are protected. They're also saying that that's something you're very much protected. Some of you have specific assigned angels to you, specifically assigned to you. I got these two today, my favorite crystals here with us today. So these are the black stone, the black crystal is my favorite. I travel with it. I sleep with it. So this is also the black stone is in a guardianship of low frequency energy. Okay. So that's what's happening. It's a spiritual awakening of karmic cycles and karmic energy. What is a karmic cycle? It is just simply the thing we don't deal with that becomes bigger. So the check engine light that comes on, you know, in the car when you're driving and you know that you're supposed to get it checked out, but you keep driving on it and then soon it just disappears. Well, it doesn't go anywhere. <laughs> it's just that maybe the, the computer isn't registering it or you're not aware of it just because it's not in sight doesn't mean that it doesn't have to be dealt with. And so those things are the karmic cycles that are coming back, but this time they're just like on steroids. 
Like this needs to be dealt with so that you can release yourself. It's like when I'm seeing it, it's like a splinter just being pulled out. Soon as it, soon as that comes out, you're going to feel a lot more relief where you could just, oh, I didn't realize that that bothered me. And then you will know what the root of it. Some of you can't figure out the root of this. It comes and it goes. It comes and it goes. The anxiousness or the anxiety, the depression, it comes and it goes. But you're rebirthing. They want you to feel stronger here mentally. So who are they becoming? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're becoming a warrior. You're becoming a warrior is what the hell you're becoming. We have all of this warrior energy. There's exhaustion here. Like this, this is, and it's not a bad thing, guys. This is just things that I'm going to bring to your attention that could help you be free and be free because your angels have been wanting to communicate with you. They mostly communicate through your expression and your inspiration of things that you love. So some of you love cars, some of you love certain um, technology things, some, some of you love certain makeup beauty products. All of these things that are, are inspiring to you, that is what your higher self and your guides have literally left for, for you to try to communicate through that. So it's almost like these things are placed in your reality to inspire you. And that's from the universe. So you might see something that's really nice to you or see or hear something that's really inspiring and motivating to you. And it's not by coincidence that it just happened at that timing. That's what they're saying. Being more aware of those parts of your life. Okay. So change. Here it is again. You're, you're coming to the end of a karmic cycle. A lot of things are going to start making sense to you. So many things are going to be making sense. Clarity is just going to come. It's just there. So now that you're aware of the communication that's being sent to you, some of this isn't even you. Some of this, I have to say this for some of you, some of this is the mess that your parents had. And it's not bad. It's not bad. It's just sometimes we don't have time to do the work. The mess is the work. The things we have to work on. Right. And so what happens is a lot of generational things are passed down through children. And, you know, you don't have a choice of what environment to grow up in. You don't have a choice of who's going to be the support system, who's going to be this person to you. And so I feel like a lot of you are just finding your own guardian angel. <laughs> That's what they're saying. So much peace look to the light. We are here with you. These are the messages that I'm hearing and it feels so damn comforting because I can share it with you because it is the truth. And so they're wanting you to now release those feelings that bring agony. All right. Now, if some of you are feeling like this has been an on and off thing, I feel like you may be coming into this. And so this message is perfectly divine in the order that you need to hear it. And so it's a message either for now or later is what they're saying. So who else are you becoming a, besides a warrior? You're experiencing grace. Waves of inspiration and love are coming to you. Shine your gifts with grace. I literally just said the universe is communicating through inspiration. I love it. I don't look at the cards because I love to be surprised with you. I want to feel like I'm getting a reading too. So this is just beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. So a lot of your releasing that you guys are feeling needing, it's, it's some, some of it could be suppression too. So with the thing with suppression is we never know it's there because it's, we just could, kept pushing it down. So the thing with this is that the, the inspiration is going to help you free yourself. Okay. These inspiring things to be free from the pain, from the dismay, from the things that didn't go exactly according to the way that you wanted them to go. I am my own anchor. That's what you're learning. You are your own anchor. And this is emotionally, and we're going to get into that nine of wands again. So some of you, I mean, this is heavy exhaustion energy. We have the nine of wands. 
The nine of wands represents the wounded warrior. Okay, so the things that wounded you are going to be the things that make you the warrior. Without the wounds, how can you be the warrior, baby? Man, I'm saying like this is just, it says I am strong for as long as I need to be strong. Some of you are ready to put it down. And they're saying that you are free to release the burdens to your guides. Some of these things that you're worried about are out of your control entirely is what they're saying. Even worrying about protecting yourself. That's their, they're saying that's our job. That's our job, not yours. What they're showing me is a walkie talkie. You have the walkie talkie. They have the walkie talkie. Your guides, your angels, whatever you desire to call them. And they're saying, if you could just check in with us and if you could just hear us clearly okay because the fog is all the emotions and the things going on if you could just hear us clearly we will protect you from up here how funny is it that we feel like we can protect ourselves down here like we couldn't protect ourselves from a building so these are just the realizations that they're wanting you to understand that as long as you keep that communication open not just when things are going bad okay but keep it open when things are going good because that's where the inspiration comes from when you're sharing with your guides okay i got this idea i don't know where to put it and your guides start coming in well why don't you do that oh my god you're right i should do that i hope that was a light bulb moment because that's huge that's the inspiration that is going to create this reality that you're desiring I choose my battles carefully, not taking time, severing out the things that need to be severed. If you know something needs to be severed and you wait, that's the mess that you make. That's what I was talking about earlier. Okay. That's, that's a mess that has to be severed. Okay. It'll always be there. They're saying that whatever needs to be dealt with, again, they're bringing up the check engine light, whatever needs to be dealt with will need to be dealt with tomorrow and next month in next year and so forth. It doesn't go away. These issues internally and also mentally, if we don't sever and deal with them. But some of you, they're saying to choose the right battles, okay? Not to exhaust yourself. I am inspired to follow my passion. I hope that's how you guys feel after this reading. With the Knight of Wands, I hope this is just me lighting a fire. Judgment, judgment, this is a spiritual awakening. If you haven't followed my Instagram, I was just posting about the things that are here and they're getting bigger. And we keep throwing things in that closet that need to be dealt with. And the closet is bulging. Okay. So I look back for compassion for myself. This is the next message for you. Deck number two. It is not, it doesn't matter whose fault. It doesn't matter if it's your fault. It doesn't matter if it's their fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. Look back with compassion for yourself, for the decisions that you make and make amends with them so that you can be free from them. That's what they're saying. Rejoice in celebration. I know guys, it's heavy. I'm here with you. Rejoice in celebration though. So celebrate now being free. Now is the time to celebrate. So we have solitude and lost and found. I wonder what you're finding. Heart chakra, heart chakra. Again, compassion. We have the green here around the heart. Heart chakra is all about the emotional things. So there is some blockages in the heart chakra. This I would say is one of the most blocked chakras I come across in a lot of my sessions because sometimes these things we don't know are there until someone comes along and pokes it. And they're like, oh, there's a splinter there. Sometimes, even if you have a splinter in your foot, you have to apply pressure to know that it's there. So spirit is like, I don't wanna have to keep applying pressure to get you to see this. I want you to communicate with me so I can show it to you before you hurt yourself. I'm, am I preaching today? Like, man.
it's so beautiful though you guys know i'm here i'm here to always support all right so solitude think of being alone as meaning you are all one and in total harmony with everything i love that the greatest treasures are those that wait silently during your quiet times so this will be a quiet time some of you guys are going to take this time to focus and do you and i'm learning a lot of things about that and i can't wait to share that with you guys and some of the webinars that i'm going to be teaching is finding yourself and that usually happens in solitude which is why solitude is important but they're making it very clear that working on yourself is not a bad thing it's just working on the things that are no longer creating the reality that you desire so if there's something that's in your life that's not bringing you happiness if you wake up those eyes and wipe out the sleep from your eyes and you're like oh, what is that thing that oh i gotta i gotta i have to so those are the things to work on so that you don't have to do those things so that they're not draining you know if you don't enjoy cooking then you desire abundance to hire a chef and that's kind of like an example that they're giving me too and that's okay so working on your reality is more so working on yourself all right lost and found what was once lost is about to be found thanks to the fairy of the lost and found sometimes she can help us find things we never even realized were lost some of this is subconscious stuff so if i started and you're like ah, that's for me or something of that nature this is something that you're coming up towards or you're dealing with currently and so the awareness right being aware before it has to be lost is what they're saying all right so your overall message because that's not even the overall message let's see what spirit has to say i pulled one of the light worker cards this is probably um one of the most empowering decks I've ever held. So I would like to say that. Um, and that is the Lightworker Oracle deck. So, all right. Part of your divine purpose is to develop the power of your mind and use it for healing purposes. If you can change your mind, you can change your world. Guidance and healing inspiration, I can't, I can't. The messages are too real today. Like everything though, guys. All right. <sighs> Guidance and healing inspiration can come to you daily, helping improve your own life and the lives of others. Healing and opening the mind to new realities and possibilities are the gifts of this card. The mind of a light worker needs spiritual light, information, understanding, and wisdom in the same way that a human body needs food, water, and clean air. The hunger for your wisdom can push you to seek knowledge, and this can be a healthy impulse. However, if you love knowledge so much that you keep seeking without taking time to digest, integrate, or apply what you have learned, you may end up confused or mentally exhausted. If you are forgetful, stressed, mentally fatigued, or plotting when you are usually bright, you need some mental time out. The mind rarely rests except through meditation, and even then, rest is not guaranteed. Resting the mind can be tricky for intellectual and highly creative people. Learning to switch off mentally will help you remember and apply what you are learning so that you grow not only in knowledge, but also in wisdom. You have been observing a lot of new information. You may feel you have so many tasks to do that you don't know where to start. This is causing mental stress. What did I just... I just said, when you wake up, that uh yeah that's what i'm saying sit without distraction of telephone computer mobile music television or radio take a few moments of silence okay and say the inv invitation below i call upon the healing grace of master Harolon. this oracle comes with a message for you if you are interested in healing the mind whether psychology therapy cognitive behavior therapy hy hy hypnosis philosophy or course of study you are encouraged to explore it. If you feel inspired to work with your belief systems through affirmations, it is time for you to develop such powerful techniques. So everything that you're going through is equipping you for this new reality, which is amazing. So 
stay encouraged. If you guys chose deck number two, this is your reading and what your guides have to tell you. Don't forget to comment down below. If you guys need any words of encouragement, look in the section box. I'm working on creating a beautiful place of union. So there's going to be a lot of uplifting. There's going to be a lot of pouring. There's going to be a lot of beauty. So go ahead and comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the next video. On to deck number three. All right, if you guys chose deck number three, this is your reading and what your angels and your spirit guides want you to know. To unlock your soul. That is the biggest message that I had today. Okay. I am trying to see where deck three is at. All right. So king of wands, the devil, we have Capricorn energy. You don't have to be a Capricorn, but that is here. The devil also comes when it is time for freedom. It's my favorite aspect of the card from a positive perspective. Freedom and change seems to be the spiritual awakening that is occurring in your life right now. More abundance. This actually was the deck that had the most cards. I mean, there were so many messages for this deck. I just want you to know that the universe, your God, whatever you choose to believe, loves the hell out of you because these messages are just really I felt like with your deck trying to bring clarity to you there is a lot of abundance that you're seeking you will have it okay they're saying do not stress about what you will have we are preparing a harvest strength we have Leo energy the magician and the hangman in reverse. Now, we have minor arcana and all of these major. Major is all about the spiritual process, the spiritual growth, major events based on these circumstances. So right now, spirit is also bringing you to a leadership position in your life of being more creative and utilizing your energy to an advantage, to create more strength, more courage, and a higher perspective for manifestation. You're manifesting. This is all about manifestations and change. Change. It's interesting that the magician comes after the willow cycle because after the cycle is complete, 2021 will be your year. You will reap more than you've ever reaped next year. And I'm, I feel very confident in saying that. So you can go ahead and uh, email me or write me back in the comments. Let me know a year from now or probably sooner for some of you. A year from now is the cycle. It's weird. Every July, something is happening. Something is occurring. Okay, so you're ending cycles of not being financially free, not being financially see. But the biggest thing that is occurring in your life right now that they want you to focus on is changing how you see your reality, changing how you see things. Okay. Because they don't want you to miss this opportunity. You're manifesting, you're becoming the magician. It's going to have to take the third eye. What is the third eye? This is all about spirituality. When your two eyes are closed, can you still see clearly? Can you still see? How can you see when your eyes are closed? It is a feeling. It is a sense. Another sense. The sixth sense. So that feeling, follow it. That knowing, follow it. It's leading you to your manifestations. That's something that they wanted to say. They've been wanting to talk with you and communicate. And I feel like some of you have, you may have, you may have upped. And I know you see the prosperity begins, but before we get into that, because yes, that's exactly what is occurring. That is exactly what is occurring. So there are manifestations and things that are happening and your guides have been communicating. So your sense, you may be watching more tarot than usual. You may be looking into things more than usual. 
because that's your third eye searching and seeking, seeking for more, a new beginning. So we'll go ahead and put this right here, the zero. Again, this is the 10, the wheel of fortune. It is a change, right? After 10, it starts again with one, one. So in tens, that's why we count in tens, the zero is the start of the beginning and the manifestation is now the stage that you're in. So you've already started this new beginning. This has already been a spiritual, like you've already answered the call. <laughs> this is what they're saying. The world. Now, the world represents 221, but again, that's what the world represents, 21. That's why I keep saying 2021 is your year, the world card, your year to travel. I can't wait. Also, if you guys chose this deck, be on the alert because I'm getting ready to drop that video as well, my 2021 prediction. Not prediction, but just what to expect because what you're expecting is a lot more, a lot more traveling, a lot, lot more freedom. So the things that you just went through or you're breaking free from currently, whether it's financial restraints or worries and concerns, concerns that you will be able to live your dreams in due time, concerns with how long this is going to take, where's my happiness, is it anywhere near? And where is this gonna, how long is this gonna take for me to sustain this happiness? These things that you're currently going through, specifically your thoughts around it, is what you're freeing yourself from for next year, 2021, is the year we were seeking for this year. So, Nine of Pentacles, this is luxury, abundance, a lot more finances, the chariot moving forward. This is also Cancer energy, which is why I keep saying this year, right in this time june july cancer energy this is where things started to pick up the chariot is here you started to really pick up your feet i feel like you were just you're you're getting the momentum going and now you're manifesting so what you're manifesting you will see in 2021 you will see what you manifested the moon card so pisces energy some of this could have happened even back earlier in February, because now we have the star card. You know, that's my favorite card. This is Aquarius energy. So this could have happened around an earlier time, February, March, April, May, pretty much this entire year because we have Capricorn. So yeah, you've been, you've been um, like just learning so much everywhere. So many different changes rapidly, very quickly. And so you're learning more about yourself this time that we're in. And another, look at all these major arcanas. This is a heavily, heavily manifestation pile here. Okay. It's time for you to accept that you are responsible for your reality. That's what they're saying. As soon as you can grasp that, then you will start seeing changes that you're looking for. Because, yeah, this isn't just a reading to show you what your angels are saying. Like, this is the message that needs to be heard to unlock your soul and hope. Look at this abundance, hope, the world. Your life is like living a dream. That's what they said. The life that you should be living, you should be waking up. Is this a dream? Hmm. Is this a dream? Because my life is so damn amazing. That's what you're working towards, okay? So all of the things that are happening in your life right now, just make note of it. Keep a journal. That should be fun so you can look back because sometimes you have a tendency, deck three, to overlook your accomplishments. So it might be good this time to record it or write it down. It's almost like writing a message to yourself in the future. It's so powerful. That's what I'm saying. I'm not going to go there. I don't know if you guys are ready for that just yet. But... I'm going to say that this is the hope that you needed to hear. This is part of that. And you're going to start seeing more things occur that are going to inspire you. So be grateful for the things you have in your current reality. <clears throat> That's one of the biggest lessons you're learning also is 
not overlooking how far you've come, not overlooking your accomplishment, taking some time out to just say and smell the roses. It's hard to see the views when you're driving so fast. It's hard. So they want you to slow down, smell the roses, smell the fresh linen towels, slow down, take in the moment, take in the moment, distractions. That is the biggest thing too, they're saying. Your soul and your spirit, you will feel happy and you will feel free and you will feel at home when you are not worried. So that space they're saying is your alignment. This feels like an entire life coaching session. So those of you know who have had sessions with me, this is what it is. So, so much hope, so much hope is near, but it's hard to see when we're looking with our eyes. It's hard to see the hope. So they're saying to see it with a deeper knowing, see it, see it with a deeper seeing with the third eye chakra, okay? Clinging to the past, success, Okay, possibilities. Yes, there is another quote that is coming to me with this. Okay, with more possibilities, more realities. If you close off the possibility, you can never manifest that reality. That's what they're saying. So when you are focused on the success in the love, so much success so much success and abundance it's a beautiful thing it's not just money it's not just finances it is just ah i figured out how to ride this wave being in the present moment i figured it out that's what you're coming into terms with okay prosperity begins right underneath the success card so this is about abundance and this is about success and the things and the things that you wish to fulfill. So clinging to the past means letting go of, well, the last time I did this, this happened. Still be open. Those are the doors that you have to go back through. That's also what they're saying, deck number three. Those are the doors. So the things that you were afraid to be bold to do now were because of something happened in your past where you did that and you didn't get a good reaction. So they're saying, it's not like the past. It's not like the past. It may seem the same, but it is not the same, okay? And then traveling. Traveling is very essential. That's the best way to say it. It is essential to your spirit to wander, to see these things. Politics. So we have a little bit of a, some trust issues here. Flowering, Queen of Pentacles. Again, this is abundance. But along this pathway, your third eye is also necessary so that you have the discernment with dealing with certain situations and certain people. Who are you becoming? Look at all this fire. All of this fire. Who are you becoming? Looking in the mirror, seeing yourself. You're seeing yourself now. You're starting to see that you can actually do this. <laughs> and that, that could be scary. But wow, I can actually do this. This is actually possible. I love it. More beauty as well. Also, more beauty. Okay, the world. Again, traveling is an essential necessity to you. It's saying, I celebrate life and welcome new energy. The world card is here twice. Some of you may also be thinking about relocating. They're saying when your faith is there, it'll be time to jump. When your faith and your courage is there, it'll be time to relocate. If your spirit is longing for that, okay? So welcoming in new energy is what we have. Celebrating life and welcoming new energy. We also have Libra energy on the board now. I speak my truth and fairness to self, okay? Following what you know to be true following what makes you happy following that six of wands you will have a lot of recognition you will have a lot of rewards and you will be very proud of what you are going to achieve is what they're saying i'm literally just letting them use me as a as a vessel at this point i deserve financial security this is something that they want you to also pay very close attention to Okay, so we, again, we have the major spiritual stuff 
and then the stuff here on earth it seems like a lot of pentacle energy a lot of tangible things a lot of accomplishments you're going to start or you're starting a new opportunity as well in finances that is going to be successful okay and who are you becoming call to action take charge and lead by example walk your talk i think i had this in my july talk too so my july predictions i have this card so you may have picked that deck again call to action it's time to now walk in what it is that you're saying that you want see it's not enough to just you know when people say speak it into existence it's like that's really good to speak to remind yourself honestly that's what the speaking is doing and it is also creating because you're you're also aware of the speaking which i'm not going to get into but basically what they're saying is that talking about it is only going to produce a dream mode reality. So you will be stuck there just envisioning it. That's where you're, why we get excited talking about it. Just saying it is like visualizing it, but it is a necessary part. They're just saying to be sure that you are also following after that so that you can actually reap it here in reality here and the sun is creeping i'm telling you guys i've been here all day because i'm going to make sure that you guys get these messages new beginnings once again wow two new beginnings two new beginnings divination embrace your powers some of you all of you pretty much is what i'm sensing if you chose this deck you have manifestation powers Okay? You're just now becoming aware of them, but you'll become more aware when things actually start happening and you're like, whoa, I was just saying those moments, those are the fun moments. That's those are the revelation moments that you're going to be having here soon. And so it says embrace your powers of divination, which are especially strong right now. You have the ability to see your current situation with the crystal clear clarity. New beginnings. The fairy godmother, the joyous news of a new baby, or the birth of a cherished idea. Protect and nurture your ideas as you would a baby. Some of you are finding your baby. I just said that today, actually, on one of my coaching calls. I was like, when you find that baby project, you're just going to be like, Meow. that's also I said, something I said in my last deck. So things are going to be happening very quickly protection. There's no need guys. Some of you are going to be manifesting material, a lot of material things, a lot of great things in your life. Don't be afraid of people taking from you. Okay. What's yours is yours. Protection. The fairy protections are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. So some of you have a psychic ability and that psychic ability is also what you're waking up to right now. And uh, this crystal, the all black crystal is my favorite. And so this is a guardian angel that I have here and here. And so a big message that was coming through in this entire reading was that you are protected and that there's nothing to worry about. And you're becoming a leader. You're walking in your power. You're starting to see your power very clear, very clear. But it just has, there's a little bit more things that you're freeing yourself from that are in the way of your manifestations. All right. Reassurance of the guided and golden light. 36. The golden light comes to you as a gift of grace and reassurance. It is an embrace from the universe as an expression of divine comfort and a sign of hope. It's crazy that I'm able to see all these amazing things that, that are getting ready to happen for you, but your hope is the way that you'll have access into seeing that as well. Although you may only perceive it when you are particularly relaxed, your clairvoyance is already developed. There you go. That is the gift that you have. They finally revealed it. The clairvoyance, the ability to see, the ability to see things happen before they happen or see from a visual perspective or being able to see in dreams or having dreams. It's the vision 
of something higher than ourselves. The same warm, loving glow is a cast over your heart when the golden light is shining upon you. If you are in a room, when it comes upon you, you will wonder if a light has been switched. As the glow is as noticeable as a lamp were to be placed or turned on. Perhaps you are struggling with a particularly difficult situation. This is an initiation or a challenging choice may lie before you. Or maybe you have taken a leap and just don't know that you are doing the right thing or somehow even though you don't feel in control of what is happening, it is going to work out. When the golden light is given to you, it is freely done so as a gift from the heart of the universe. It is letting you know that you are a child of the universe and you are dearly loved. It is reminding you that on the path, the struggle to continue with trust, patience, faith, and courage can seem almost overwhelming. However, the universe is with you, supporting you, loving and believing in you. Every step of the way, you are not alone. There are times when you will call upon this light because you know that you are in need of that loving consciousness and it is appropriate that you do that. You can use the invocation below to reassure that you have the comfort of the divine spirit and the loving grace of the universe by simply thanking them for being here now, bringing peace and reassurance even in our darkest moments. So that is your guys' reading and what you need to know to unlock your soul. Now, there are so many messages here that are coming through today for you specifically based on new beginnings. So take that and run with that. Don't forget to comment which deck you chose down below so we can get some words of encouragement feedback to you. In the meantime, I'm going to move on to deck number four. All right, if you guys chose deck number four, this is your reading and what you need to hear to unlock your soul. And I've been recording all day my voice. I've lost my voice and the sun is creeping in. So sorry if you guys can't see from the top view, but I have been spending a lot of time on these decks today. Uh, because these messages are very important for you guys to hear. All right. So let's see what the universe wants you to know. Deck number four. Four of pentacles. Six of pentacles. Three of wands. Six of wands. and six of swords. Spiritual strength in the universe. So it seems like you are also going through a spiritual awakening, waking up more to your spirit and your soul and who you are. Now, this is gonna affect your relationships a lot. It seems like right now, a pivotal point in your time is to build a solid foundation for your relationships. Now this requires moving out of the past mentally and then also understanding that you have the capability to be financially independent, okay, for yourself. That's something that I feel like is that you're admiring or, or longing for. But there's this sense of mental restriction due to past events and circumstances that have happened in your life. I feel like these are the, this was one of the decks that had the most cards. So I felt like there were a lot of messages that need to be heard today, which is also why my voice is being lost or has been lost. Now, right now is a pivotal time to invite more spirituality into your life. Again, I've been saying this a lot, spirituality, being in tune with your soul, being in tune with your soul, following your dreams because it's the DNA to your soul. Everything you're learning is connected. There has to be something more is what I'm hearing. Now, the things that have happened, it seems like deck four, th there's a lot of love instances that I'm, that I'm pulling. Um, a lot of experience you've learned, but what I'm feeling with these love situations is it kind of left some disappointment and blocked you from receiving more. There's a lot of doubt that you are overcoming within yourself, doubt that people have had upon you as well is subsiding there's a lot of freedom here for you uh, to be emotionally free from whatever it is that happened in the past 
even the things that maybe you wanted to accomplish but have yet to have the chance to do, this is turning you back to spirit. It's almost like your back had to be against the wall for you to see it very clearly. Okay, so there's a lot of conflict here and death, Scorpio energy, but death in a sense, a lot of endings. Some of you could be experiencing a literal physical death close to you. If not, this death is just experiencing this eccentric death, which isn't a physical death, but it feels like the things that you used to care for or believe in are no longer the case. Sometimes we can't see the major changes happening. We're just like going every day, but things are moving be beyond your consciousness that are just happening all around you all the time. And so you're experiencing a lot of letting go. And some of you have had some pretty strong reality checks also. Like, and it's not coming from a place of punishment. So they're saying that this is very clear that the universe is not punishing. The universe is just simply redirecting. But unfortunately, humans or us react under tragedy and struggle is where we really feel like, okay, we're going to have to perform right? Or I'm going to have to do this to survive. And it shouldn't have to take your back up against the wall to do that is what spirit is saying. The spirit would just love it if you actually just enjoyed the, the ride. So, you know, these obstacles and redirections is out of a sign of love to encourage you to choose a different direction. Yeah, because we have the nine of swords here. We have a lot of emotions, a lot, a lot of longing to want something more. I feel like that's that's here too, just desiring to have and share and be more projections. Okay. So they're saying the reality that you see, the, 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 what you deal with on a day-to-day -day basis. There are a lot of projections that feel real, but they're not. The only thing that is real here in your to your soul to your spirit is is to dream is to follow that dream to follow the inspiration and so a lot of the things that you're experiencing are projections of other people but also remember that by the time we perceive things there's so many moving parts that can determine what it is we're seeing sometimes we only catch that person when they're upset we didn't see how it started and so there's a lot of things that you're learning about yourself. This is like a discovery. It's a discovery and sometimes it feels like a ride you want to get off of. And I'm totally understanding why. And so they're just saying, be very close, pay very close attention to what you're projecting because it may not be the case. It may not be true. So having a higher awareness also with your spiritual strength, it's very necessary in this time that you're in. We are the world, Ten of Pentacles. You're understanding that everything is connected again and that there must be more. There is some type of foundation that is coming very close, abundantly, abundantly financially for you. Your foundation and a lot of aspects in your life, just they're saying need to be a little bit more firmer, a little bit more firm so that you can build something solid this time. Okay, um, to not participate in the things that are draining you and to follow the inner voice, following the inner voice. This is high priestess spiritual arcana. So basically spirit is like, it's time to wake up. It's time to see that, you know, this reality, it's time for a new, a new one. It is very time, but it's going to have to require a leap of faith with the full card. Okay. The leap is not as hard as the faith part. That's the part that you're working towards right now so that you can take more leaps, you know, cause I just see you just, once you take the first leap, you're just like, and you just keep going and going and it's excitement after excitement. So it's more so about taking the leap, but also what I'm feeling is investing in you. Take a leap into believing you can do it. Take a leap into believing 
that you have guidance, that you have an inner voice, that you have instincts. Take a, take a leap towards you for you this time. Like this is about you. The leap into your dreams for you, not for others. You, you, can, you do well when it comes to supporting others, but it's now supporting yourself. That starts with the first foundation, new vision. We have the hangman, another part of the spiritual awakening. So some of you haven't seen it just yet. It's in the reverse. And so what's happening is a lot of things in your reality are not true. That it may look like you're not going to get there. It may look like you're not going to ever find stability or sometimes you feel this, this place. And so they're saying it's going to require a new pair of lenses. Again, I've been saying this a lot, 2020 vision for a reason. It's time to see something new this time. Try something new and see where it gets you is what spirit is saying. Healing. So yeah, there's some emotional healing here. I, all, I feel very strongly that, you know, there are just a lot of disappointments that, you're ha that you have had on, on yourself or maybe just feeling like you could have done more or you could have done better. They're saying you can go ahead and release that. You're exactly where you need to be right here, right now. You're exactly where you need to be. It's time to play. It's time to play. So next time when you're looking at the world, try to see it through the pair of eyes of a child. The world as your playground. The world as your playground. See it more like a child. Have more dreams. Even if it didn't work out in the past, you are a completely different person today, right? We watch a movie and then five years later, we watch it again and we're like, oh, did I see this movie? Oh yeah, I remember this part, but not this part. Yeah, because we were, we seen exactly what we were capable of seeing and receiving. So when you go back, you're a little bit more awakened and now you're starting to see new things. So you have a new vision. That's what they mean by a new vision. It's not that everything changes physically. It's just that you see everything that's been there differently. It's completely different. My guys are doing this weird thing where they're rhyming now. So if you happen to catch one of these quotes, just go ahead and post it down below or in Instagram and tag me because I can't keep up with them all. All right. Standing your ground. So much strength. So much strength for you. Standing your ground for you, you're waking up to who you are, okay? The fire within, the fire within and a new beginning in energy. Something new is going to inspire you. Something new is going to inspire you in a light of fire under you. Something new. Let's see what that is. Seven of Cups. I see. I trust myself to see the truth. It's the, it's the confidence in yourself to know that I know this is the right decision for me. And that's why spirituality is important. It comes from a benefit of providing clarity and knowledge. And think about all of the things in your life that you need clarity on. Whether it's a relationship, a job, should I do this? I mean, sometimes we need clarity on just what bread to buy. I mean, think about all the things we need answers to. And so that is why your spiritual connection is is important so some of you may be new to the channel some of you may, may be new to tarot or maybe dive in or dive out and you're learning new like you it feels like an infant in spirituality that you are you you are starting to see the world completely different and so those questions that you had about you know forget about the things that happened in the past about religion okay they're saying forget about all of the things you think like what do you know and one thing you know is love that's one thing you know, and support of others. But now it's time to trust that you're capable. Some of you have this fear of failure, trusting that you're capable of being able to walk into this new reality. Your biggest critic has become your own doubt. That's where the projections are coming. So you must trust yourself more, but in order to trust yourself, you have to first know yourself. Page of Wands, I am always open to good news. I take care of detail and stay in control. Look at all these children here. 
pages represent the child if you guys didn't know i like to see the pages as children so you have learned a lot and grown very intellectual you're very smart <clears throat> very smart but the the emotions are here and the energy is here you're learning more about energy you're learning more about yourself through your emotions and so all of these pages again it's like an infant in spirituality you are becoming more mature in spiritual growth and what does that mean you have an inner voice but you must trust it you must trust it so now that's what you're working on but how do you trust it building that relationship building that relationship with your guides building that relationship with your angels that's where they're here they said they've been with you since a child they've been around since a child some of you may have experience or seen um sunflowers or flowers or nature may have been drawn to you butterflies some of you have seen butterflies some of you have grown up by the water there are so many things so many signs around you it's just that they want you to be more open not more like more open to the spirituality and know that you're protected also you are protected. Cords are being cut. Move beyond limitation and trust. I'm just the messenger. I'm just the messenger. So that spirituality, something may have happened as, to you as a child that was a neither positive or negative event in your childhood that has dramatically changed your relationship with spirit. Those things that you've experienced, whether it's through fear, fear of the dark, fear of the closet, whatever those fears are, you're going to notice that there are signs. There were signs of light there. Signs of light there. Signs and guidance of awareness. And that <clears throat> the light is bigger than the dark. It is greater than the dark. As you see, it's creeping up on me. <laughs> I'm slowly drowning with this light here, but it's cool. They just want you to pay attention to more of the child in you. Start to see life less. Let, don't look at life seriously. Have fun. Have more fun. Just play more. It's a playground here. It's an, an experience. Don't make it something bigger than it doesn't need to be. So yeah, those places as, as a child, again with the dark, they're just saying that the light was always there. Even in your dreams, you never die. <sighs> Even in your dreams, you die, we wake up, what? You come right back to this reality. Even in your dreams, you're safe. So remember that. That is that is where it's at, okay, for you. Friendship, yeah, better friendships, better friends, better mentors, better support system, better, better clarity. Mentors around you with knowledge that can actually help you and not just need you, like not as a but actually help you as like wanting to help you, right? Some sincere mentorship is what I'm feeling is very close. So fairies and humans alike need friends. Now is the time to seek out those who will support and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. It's exactly, exactly right. Okay. To fulfill your dreams, the friends that are pushing you towards your dreams. And I don't just mean the dreams that are providing the material things. I mean, the dream the reality, the life, the ones who will encourage you without a string attached. That's very, they're saying that that's the one right there. Come together. Fairies like to be busy in a group of them and showing you that many hands make light work. Working as a team helps get the job done. So someone around you, butterflies again, someone around you is going to really help you with understanding more about spirituality, your soul, dreams, the things that you desire to do. So this is everything that you needed to hear to unlock your soul. But before you go, here's the last card. I'm just going to read it off to you. I haven't read it just yet. And I just want to see what the overall message to unlock your soul is. You are fast outgrowing a level of consciousness to which are attached to particular wounds issues and struggles as you outgrow the consciousness the mind these issues will release their grip on you you are receiving divine notice that karmic clearing is taking place 
through a combination of your own efforts and spiritual grace from the heart of the divine, it is time for an old wound to be released once and for all. Karma is not punishment. It is essential to our soul's lessons plan for this lifetime, carried over from lifetimes. It is the way we grow and develop as a soul, sometimes through challenges and sometimes through blessings. Our positive karma is seen in the skills and the talents we master. Where opportunities flow easily, we have a sense of good karma. It's easy, it's graceful. But more challenging karma is revealed in the lessons we are still learning. These usually appear in the guise of painful circumstances or reactions that repeat themselves in our lives. Repeat, repeat. If you guys didn't catch my webinar, Soul Journey webinar, it is on my website, thetarotpriest.com, where you can stream the karmic energy and cycle breaking. I spent ten, two hours on it. It's a really good video. You can stream it. And this talks about how things are on repeat. Even if it seems like the same or not the same reality, they're saying that even things that we don't notice can be on repeat. So it says that they usually show up in painful circumstances that repeat ourselves. When we are working through big challenges, it is often a sign that you are on an advanced spiritual path. Must you always have struggle in your life as an advanced soul? Of course not. As you master your lessons, you will find, develop, and develop an ability to live your life more peacefully. However, it would not be correct to interpret a struggle as a sign that you are not progressing spiritually. Sometimes the more painful a struggle has been, the more difficult it can be to release. And that is okay. That's what I'm saying. That is okay. The spiritual worlds know you are in need of divine intervention to help clear a pattern that is once painfully logged in your body, mind, and soul. Enough of the struggle. Divine love now offers healing and freedom. We clear karma by learning to trust and relax. Choosing not to punish ourselves with shame, guilt, guilt, or unworthiness by continuously balancing our efforts with the surrender into grace. We take responsibility for our own healing, doing all that we can and trusting that the universe will lovingly, effectively handle everything. If you are struggling with a long-term issue, this card comes to a particular sign that the universe wants you to step in and assist you. So I just wanted to read that part <clears throat> before my voice goes completely out. The last thing that I want to say to you is that that is why it's important for you to have a connection with universe and a spiritual strength and a spiritual union because there are things that you will not be equipped to handle like a world or people and that's where your spiritual army comes in that's where your trust with you and source divine whatever you choose to call it comes in so Pay attention to that. I hope this encouraged you. It just seemed like something just was deep, deep, deeply rooted. And I hope that you become aware of it and, and yank it out so that you can move forward in this new vision that is waiting for you, essentially. So thank you so much for tuning in to this Pick a Card reading. If you guys chose deck number four, don't forget to comment down below so I can get some words of encouragement to you guys. Stay strong. Stay encouraged. You guys got this. You have everything that you need. Deck number four, it's very, very clear that you have everything that you need right in your space right now in this time. So I'm wishing you guys the best. Until next time, love and light. I'm out.